So what do four magnetic chokes and some amazing PCB engineering have in common with long copper wire winded as one big coil? It's a setup and it only has one purpose in life. It has to produce as many sparks as possible. This is my Russian Slayer Exciter and here is how to build one. Look at this, my projects just got better as I partnered up with PCBWay. PCBWay is a manufacturer of quality PCB boards and on top of that they offer an assembly service to make your work as an electronic engineer easier. I just received my order with PCBWay and I'm very happy with the result. Look at these quality boards. These boards deserve some amazing videos. So this is the schematic of the Russian Slayer Exciter. Um, a fair warning is in place. Um, although it's a Tesla coil, this isn't the most safe Tesla coil you can build. Basically because indirectly um, your secondary coil is connected to the inlet only by a simple resistor. Here is your inlet. Here is your resistor going straight to the coil. So if you touch the coil, even if it's not operational, while it's plugged in, there's a big, a big chance you'll get electrocuted. So would be good to avoid that. Other than that, this is a, a simple schematic, but building it is for more advanced electricians. And if you have no experience building Tesla coils or working with electricity in general, then this design is not for you and I wouldn't recommend to build it. However, if you decide to build it, you do that on your own risk. A more in-depth explanation is available in another video. The link is below. Let's get started. We need a tube with a diameter of uh, 90 millimeters and a length of approximately 260 millimeters. 1000 windings of uh, 0.2 millimeters copper wire, which is 32 uh, gauge, I think. And I used copper wire from Farnell. It had order number 1230974. Or you order your own uh, copper wire, that's fine with me. When I was done winding, I isolated all the copper wire with some varnish. Um, you could use some different paint, but that's totally up to you as long as um, you put on a thick layer of extra uh, isolation. The primary coil is a coil with a diameter of approximately 12 centimeter and I made some holes in it to attach the thicker wire. These are actually four windings of thicker uh, isolated copper wire and the windings are two centimeter apart. You'll also need four magnetic chokes that are commonly used in the lighting industry. Aside from some small components like switches and a main power switch, you'll also need to assemble the PCB. The link for buying it is in the description under the video. Remember to use it wisely. Never touch the coil when it's plugged in or suffer the consequence of electrocution.